So here's the deal. In about half an hour, we leave for the surgery center. I've mentioned this on YouTube earlier. I'm going in for surgery to get some loose skin removed from when I lost weight, specifically some loose skin under here and some loose skin under my on the sides of my chest. And I'm going to document the whole thing for the next several days here on Instagram and Snapchat and TikTok. And eventually I'll get around and repurpose these videos and put them on YouTube too. But you'll get the latest and greatest shit here. Um, when you see me next, maybe uh, on the next video or next several clips of this video, I'm going to be wearing like a bandage around, the <laughs> around my head. And my skin will be all inflamed and all puffy and shit. And I'm going to be really high because of the anesthesia. It's going to be great. What I'm going to be doing is actually a form of liposuction. It's where they take a little tiny needle thing called a cannula and they insert it into the skin and they move it around and they pull it out so there's no incisions. There's just dots and they heal. And they'll be doing that uh, here, a little bit here, like a square right here, and then down here on the sides of my chest a little bit. And then uh, apparently I'm going to be wearing a fucking... Well, I'll be wearing a wrap for about a day or two around my head and then around my chest. Apparently there's a wrap that I have to wear for about a week. And apparently... I'm going to get confirmation on this. I'm not sure yet. I have to wear this thing for a week, and I can't get it wet. So I won't be able to take a bath. If I take a shower, I have to use one of those spray things. Um, that'll be fucking fun, but I'll document all that as we go along. Can't wait. In the car on the way to the appointment, it's about, what time is it? 7, 12 a.m. in beautiful, collapsing downtown Portland, which is where the procedure is taking place. <laughs> I'm going to be there between uh, 7.30 and about 2 p.m., but uh, my understanding is the actual procedure is only going to be an hour, hour and a half total. Um, am I concerned about looking like shit? You could barely see me in this fucking video. Look how dark this shit is. Um, am I concerned about people seeing me looking like this? No, I don't care. Um, I'm very sexy and very handsome. It's a burden I'm willing to bear. So I think you can get over it. Calm down, ladies. <laughs> Pink Firefly just uh, made a noise. She's driving me because I hope will drive when I get home. So, uh, next update coming soon. What up, Buttercup? Procedure is done, obviously. Uh, I severely underestimated how bad this would make me feel. Most normal human beings come off anesthesia within about two hours. They have something to eat and they feel okay, more or less, for the rest of the day. Uh, I've been home for about, <clears throat> let's see, it's 9 o'clock right now. I've been home for, uh, since, what, 2? And I feel fucking terrible. <laughs> um, I have never been drunk in my entire life. I've never done drugs in my entire life. I've never been high in my entire life. I've never drank coffee or caffeine in my entire life. So I think that my body is just a big pussy when it comes to drugs. So uh, I am um, extremely tired my eyes can barely open, yet I can't fall asleep. I am extremely, extremely dizzy. As soon as I stand up, uh, the room spins. Right now I'm okay, but it's, I, it's, I can walk around, but barely. Um, <clears throat> I've already slept for about three hours. It didn't help at all. I still feel fucking terrible. I think I'm just a big pussy when it comes to drugs. My body just can't handle drugs, um, which I consider a good thing, but today it's not a good thing. <laughs> uh, my throat is is all fucked up. I can barely swallow. I can barely eat because probably because they had to stick a fucking breathing tube down my throat. Um, the entire left side of my body is drenched with this red fluid, which is not blood. It's the stuff they use for the surgery that drains out of you. So you can see that is not sweat. That is the fluid coming out of my body. This is going to happen for the next 24 hours. Good times. So I'm uh, getting everything disgusting and drenched and I uh, could barely eat or drink water. I, I forced myself to drink about 24 ounces of water, including some of my salt water to get my electrolytes back up. I had some eggs and, and sausage just to keep things keto and just to get some energy in there. Um, I'm going to go to sleep in about an hour. Uh, my body is a fucking horror show. There you go. That's bruising. That's not dirt. That, that's bruising. Now that'll go away in a few days. God knows what my fucking chest looks like right now. Probably, again, a fucking horror show. I have to keep this thing on my head for 24 hours so tomorrow I can take it off. I'm supposed to leave it on like when I sit or sleep for the next few days. I have a thing over my chest I have to keep on literally for an entire week. I can't even get it wet, so taking showers is going to be very interesting. Next seven days, yee-hoo. <laughs> now, 
Uh, you might be wondering, why go through all this pain and suffering just to look a little better? Well, I, to go through one or two or three days of suffering to look good or better, I should say, for the rest of my life, that's a no-brainer. As a matter of fact, as an old man, I will now never, ever have a turkey neck, no matter what happens, because there's literally no fat and no loose skin there. So I'm going to look better, both on my chest and my face, for the rest of my life. So I'll, I'll take this horrible suffering that most people don't have to go through when they get fucking anesthesia. Pink Firefly um, had surgery two years ago. She was, she was within two hours, she was fine. She was, and they knocked her out the same anesthesia that I had. I guess, again, my body is a wimp when it comes to drugs, which I hold as a badge of honor. But anyway, uh, I'll check back in tomorrow. I, I'm sure I will feel less horrible tomorrow. Uh, I tried to work for a few minutes and I just, my brain couldn't focus. Good times, so I'll see you tomorrow. So here we are on day two of surgery recovery, as I expected, a little less bad, but still pretty bad. Uh, the dizziness is gone. I can function now. I was able to actually work today, which is really nice. Um, no pain yet. <coughs> my, as you can probably tell from my throat or my voice, uh, my throat's pretty fucked up still. A um, lot of discharge from my body last night, a lot of it this morning. So what I did is I actually came up with a system for this where those doggy pads, those pads used to train dogs, where the dogs pee on them and it absorbs the moisture. We have a bunch of those for a pink fireflies dog. So I wrapped two together. I duct taped two together, wrapped it around my torso, had this little strap around that, put it, <laughs> put a shirt over that. And now that way, any discharge that comes out of my body goes into these pads that are under my shirt. And uh, there you go. Not very comfortable, but uh, hey, it works. And at least I can move around without getting drenched all day, which is kind of nice. Uh, I had about five hours of sleep last night, which was pretty horrible. Um, but enough to be somewhat functional, kind of today. Hopefully I'll get more sleep tonight. My bruising looks even worse today than it did yesterday. And uh, that's usually how this stuff works. The bruising gets really ugly and then it goes away in about three or four days. So I expect in about, you know, six days from now, the bruising will be down. Um... What else? That's about it. I, I can move around and, and do things. I just have to be very careful. Whenever I shift positions, I can feel it in my chest. This bandage comes off in about, uh, I take this off in about two hours to have my first semi-shower. So I can't get this thing on my chest wet and it has to stay on for a fucking week. So what I'm going to do is take this off, wash my face and my hair in our kitchen sink, then go... Uh, put over to my shower and then use the shower head that you can hold your hand to wash my lower body. So uh, I'm, this literally will not get washed for a week. So it's going to be pretty, pretty randy in about uh, four or five days. But they literally said, you cannot take this off. It's got to stay wrapped around your torso for literally seven days. Um, I got tired of pulling it up. So that's the strap down here is for it. It keeps it in place. But uh, good times. Not very excited about this. But uh, at least today is not as horrible as yesterday. You can probably tell. Um, at least I'm somewhat functional today, um, which makes me very happy. Thank God I can work. I like to work. I don't like not being able to work. It sucks. I'm not working very hard today. I'm taking it easy, and Pink Firefly is like, you need to take it more easy. Don't work so hard. You know, she's being a wife and being a nurse. But uh, so far, so good. Uh, I will update you tomorrow. Wow, I am looking really sexy. I should just adopt this look whenever I go out. look pretty good. I look great. Puffy skin and... Fucking thing on my neck. Anyway, today is uh, day two or day three, depending on how you define it. So my surgery was Tuesday. Uh, today is Thursday. And uh, this is the first day where um, I don't feel super dizzy anymore. I just have very, very little energy. So I work for a while. Then I, I kind of zone out and I relax for a while. I have no more drugs in my system. I'm, I'm not on any painkillers. Uh, that's the good news. Uh, I had my first shower yesterday. So I took this thing off and sprayed my head in that sink over there, and then went in the shower and sprayed the bottom half of me. This bandage here started getting kind of saggy and gross. I'm not allowed to take it off, so I put another very big tight bandage around it yesterday, so now this is a very tight bandage. Uh, not really fun, sleeping is not very fun. Very difficult to get comfortable at night, so uh, I'm able to get a full night's sleep, but it's a rough night's sleep, it's off and on. Um, my throat is uh, a little better today. My bruising is starting to recede for the first time. You can't see this, but this right here, you'll start to go away a little bit. I don't need to wear this down 24 seven. I can take this off whenever I want. And so when I eat, I take this off and um, I guess that's it. They say the more you leave this on over the next seven days, the better the result will be. So I'm gonna leave this on as much as I can. 
Um, and that's really it. I just, um, in terms of symptoms, <clears throat> I just have, I just don't have any energy. It sucks. Uh, I, I just can't focus 100% after I work for about an hour. So I've been working and then relaxing and working and relaxing. And I am hoping that uh, in the next day or two, uh, my energy levels will be back to at least 80% of what is typical. And if you're wondering why the Christmas tree is still up, Pink Firefly and I were in Dubai for the holidays, during the entire holidays, right after Christmas, got back. Eight, January 8th or 9th, I had a one full day session with the Alpha Male 2.0 Focus Program, and then I went right into surgery, and I've been recovering since then. So all of our Christmas shit is still up, probably for a few more days too. But uh, that's the update so far. Um, looking pretty hot. Oh, I have not shaved yet. So uh, I don't want to shave this down here. I want to wait one more day to make sure all the scabbing is gone. I'm it, it pretty, pretty sure it's going to be gone tomorrow, so I'll actually, I'll actually probably shave tomorrow. That'll be nice. And then I'll uh, check in with you tomorrow. Well, it's been four days now since the surgery. I had surgery on Tuesday. It is now Saturday. And I have gone from the dazed, drugged out, stoned, confused phase of the recovery to the highly irritating, more painful phase of the recovery. So as you can probably tell, I feel normal now. Um, the only difference in how I feel is that um, by about one o'clock, I start getting really tired. So I still don't have that energy. I have a normal, my typical amount of energy from the time I wake up till about one. And then I just, my body just starts shutting down because I guess I'm, I'm not done healing and I won't be until uh, mid next week, apparently. So um, my throat is healed. Thank God. Thank God my throat works. I can swallow and drink water and eat food. And I can also take this off while I eat. So I can actually eat food and drink water now normally. Thank God. That was a big part of this. So that's good. I have been on no prescription painkillers throughout this entire time, which is pretty cool. I was taking up until yesterday or late yesterday four, no, 800 milligrams of ibuprofen every eight hours, which I don't like taking. But other than ibuprofen, I haven't been taking any painkillers whatsoever. It's kind of nice. They wanted me to take that much ibuprofen the first three days, not for pain, but to reduce inflammation. So I don't, my whole body doesn't blow up like a tomato and, and <laughs> become inflamed. So I can tell that a lot of the, even my face could tell a little bit, a lot of the puffiness has gone down. The bruising is still there, but this puffy shit I was having, that's gone down. And um, so now that I have some feeling back in my chest and my neck, um, I can feel it. I, this bandage was can't come off till Monday. It's like a two more days, this goddamn bandage. Um, I can feel it. When I move around, I go, oh, I'll be in the middle of the, you know, the middle of the night, moving around in bed and I'll like turn, turn over and go, ah, and then I'll go, oh and something will just, you know, pain will shoot through my chest. That's fun. Um, I guess I could take more ibuprofen if I wanted to, but I don't. Again, I don't like taking pills. I just don't like taking that stuff. So I'll just power through this. Um, that's really about it. So this is Saturday. On Monday, I go in for my appointment for them to remove their bandage and check things out. And I think at that point, I will only have to wear these bandages, I believe, at night when I go to bed. I think that's the case. I'm not sure. But um, a lot better, just now I'm in the irritating phase. I'm ready for these bandages to fucking come off, especially this one. This one's actually not too bad. This actually feels good. I'm very, very puffy down here still. Not as bad as I was, but it holds up. So it actually feels good to wear this thing, believe it or not. But this does not feel good at all. This, this giant bandage is about this big all across my torso. Uh, not good at all. When I get that removed in two days, I can't wait. So here we are on day five of surgery recovery. I assumed that every day would get better, and that's generally been the case, but uh, not today. So today, the bandage on my chest, which has been on my chest now since Tuesday, it's now Sunday night, it hurts. The, these sutures and shit, I actually feel them today, so it hurts. Whenever I shift positions, like from when I'm standing to sitting or sitting to standing, or when I'm laying, I got to get out of bed, this fucking hurts. I mean, it's it's real pain. Now, right now, it doesn't hurt because I'm not really moving around a lot. But when I move around, goddamn. So, and I'm not going to take any painkillers. I don't like taking painkillers. I'm just going to power through it, you know, way it goes. Um, but a lot of the local anesthetic that they have inside the muscles is now gone. So, I'm feeling all this stuff now. Um, second problem is that I have been really tired. I was fine during the morning and then around the afternoon, around 11 o'clock, uh, I had sex. Don't tell my doctor, you are not supposed to have sex when you're recovering from surgery. But I was on the couch talking to Pig Firefly and looking at her beautiful hair, her beautiful eyes, her triple D boobs, and I couldn't stand it. It's been about a week and that's a long time for me. So I'm like, get over here. She's like, how are you going to do that? I said, I don't know. I'll figure it out. 
It wasn't pretty, but I did it. Um, don't tell my doctor. And then um, it, it was a mistake. I should not have done this. Uh, it hurt during the process. This hurt even more, but it was worth it, whatever. And then we had lunch. And then after lunch, I'm sitting at the table and I, I couldn't keep my eyes open. And that was about one o'clock. I have been sleepy all day since one o'clock. I should not have done that. I, my body, again, just doesn't have the energy that did and uh, sucks. So I took a nap for about an hour and a half. I'm still pretty sleepy and in pain. There you go. The good news is, thank God, tomorrow morning is when I go back into the doctor. They remove this bandage. They check everything out. They get me a new bandage. And I go into a new protocol. Hopefully, I don't have to wear this 24-7 anymore. Um, very, very pleased. This is my last night of being in pain with this odd bandage. I may still have to wear a bandage at night, but um, it'll be an easier bandage than this one. This bandage has been on me for five days. It hasn't been washed or anything. It's pretty fucking gross. Uh, and maybe tomorrow, too, I'll take some of this stuff off, and I'll show you what's under here. Um, it's inflamed, doesn't look very good. Not gonna look good for another two weeks or so, but um, I'll update you guys tomorrow. Alrighty, day six of surgery recovery. I feel a lot better. Oh my God, do I feel much so much better. I just got back from the doctor and they finally removed that bandage that was on my chest for almost a week. Much of the pain and discomfort I was feeling was because of that bandage, I have a new bandage on and it feels so good. <laughs> I'm so happy. Um, I, as of now, I don't need to wear this, or as of tonight, I don't need to wear this anymore at all. And the bandage on my chest, I need to wear it kind of as needed. I can, I should wear it as much as possible, but I can take it off whenever I want. So tonight, I'm going to have my real first shower in, in about a week. I can't wait. Oh my God, I can't wait. Um, what else? Um, oh, the, the appointment went very well. Actually, better than I expected. He checked out everything and checked the healing, and he said, oh, my God, you're healing perfectly. Um, when you have a procedure like this, there's always a small chance that you may have to go back in in a year when everything's done and redo some skin surgery. He was saying that that is probably not going to be needed. Uh, he said, nope, you're good. Matter of fact, the original plan, and I didn't know, the original plan was to actually make some incisions right under my nipples, okay? And that's what I thought he did. I was wrong. He didn't. He goes, I, you don't have that. I didn't have that much fat there. I didn't need to do it. It's all just entry points with the cannula, these little dots that heal up. So all good news. Very happy. Uh, he just said, and I mentioned this on prior clips of these videos, you got to be very, very patient. This particular procedure takes an entire year to look 100% good. He goes, it'll look great in a year and it'll look great for the rest of your life, but it's going to take about a year. You got to be very, very, very patient. So my chest is going to look a little strange for the next month or two or three or even longer, which means, uh, okay, maybe I wear a shirt during sex with new women for, <laughs> for the next few months. I don't care. It doesn't really bother me. I will actually take this off. Let me take this off and show you what my chin looks like uh, six days after surgery. Ugh. My hair's great. So as you can tell, my double chin has actually gotten bigger, but that's not fat. That is all swelling and inflammation. That'll go down in about two weeks. The day, the night of the surgery, when I came home, when I took off the bandage, took a look, there's like no fat here. It's going to be just chiseled all the way through. It's going to be awesome. And it's all healed. This will take about two to three months total to heal and about nine months to be perfect. Um, so this is, but for the moment, I look kind of like a bullfrog. The, the bruising has gone way down. This was all red before just a few days ago. I mean, there's no bruising there anymore. That's pretty good. Still have bruising. And again, this will go away in a few days. Not a big deal. Bruising is very temporary. Um, still have a lot of bruising on my chest though, because of that bandage. Oh, oh my God, Freddy Krueger. So that'll go away. Not a big deal. But uh, so far, so good. In really good shape on this stuff. Now, let me answer some questions that have come up as I post these updates on Instagram and social media and things like that. Uh, Caleb, why didn't you just get the fat like from your stomach and all over your body removed? If it works so well, why don't you just get it all removed because that'll work. Because that's fat I can lose through normal means, through dieting and exercise and calorie restriction and fasting. And this is, as I talked about earlier, this and the stuff over here that's been removed is stuff that I could not lose. That's why I got it removed. I think it's kind of a cop out to just go get your fat, eat a, be, a, be a pig and eat a bunch of hamburgers and then go get a liposuction and have the fat sucked out of your body. Uh, plus, that would be expensive. Plus, the recovery is, is difficult. This isn't a difficult recovery for me. This is a little worse than I thought it would be. So down here, anyway, this is no big deal. So that's why. Uh, next question I've seen is, uh, hey, Kayla, won't this fat come back if down the road you gain weight again? The answer is no, it will not. So when you lose weight, you lose, you don't lose fat cells. They just get smaller. So when you get liposuction, you actually are removing those fat cells. So right here and on my chest, even if I were to gain a bunch of weight later, and I won't, hopefully I won't, unless something very horrible happens in my life, 
uh, it will still not bet fat here because there's literally no fat cells there to grow. So not only that, I mentioned this before, for the rest of my life, I will never get that turkey neck that old men get in their 60s. They get that turkey neck that starts hanging down that a lot of guys get, including very physically fit guys in their 60s, 70s. I will literally never get that because there's no fat there anymore. Here too, on my chest too. It's great. So no, it's a, it is a permanent, permanent solution. That's why I did this. Um, next question. I mentioned this in one of the earlier clips, I think. Hey, Caleb, are you going to show before and after pictures? Yes, I will do that in a year. This is going to take, this at least, is going to take an entire year to look perfect. So there's no point in doing them now. This looks like a horror show. I mean, it looks pretty bad. I mean, this looks bad. And it looks, I just, it was six days after my surgery. So yes, I took a bunch of pictures of myself, my entire torso before going into surgery that day before. He took some pictures too. And, um, and then I'll take a bunch of after pictures a year from now. So January 2021, yes, I will post before and after pictures. That'll also give me a chance to complete my weight loss plan for 2021, which I almost, which I posted a video about already, um, to get my weight down. So I want to get to 15% body fat in the next six, six months. So by the midsummer, I'd like to be at 15% body fat. So that weight loss plus this procedure, I'm going to be looking pretty damn sexy in about six months to a year, somewhere in that time frame. So yes, I am more than happy to post uh, before and after pictures. I think it'll be valuable. Uh, that's really it. I'm not going to post any more specific recovery videos. Um, I actually did a whole backlog of extra YouTube videos and things like that for the next two weeks, knowing that I probably don't want to do a bunch of YouTube videos when I look like this. <laughs> so I won't actually be making any new, new YouTube videos for about a week, but you'll still get them because I did a double dose amount before I went in for my surgery. Um, I may post slight updates to this over the next few months. I may not be needed, but I'm certainly going to post regular updates on my weight loss plan and what I'm doing with my weight loss. As I mentioned in my weight loss for 2021 video a few weeks ago, this surgical procedure, which is step one in a long series of steps I'm going to take that are going to take place over the next 12 months, really six months in 2021. I wanted to get this out of the way, get this done. It sucks. I had to do this right in the middle of go time. I haven't been very productive last week or so because I've been so, you know, ugh, recovering. I'm still not at hundred percent today. Um, I'm going to do as much work as I can. But I wanted to get this out of the way. So now this is done. I don't have to fucking worry about it. And now I can lead right into my hardcore weight loss plan, my 11-step program that I set up for myself that I described in the other video. So that's it for now. I will see you very soon. Bye.